Hi guys, welcome to my new video. I've been busy for a long time, so the video update is slow. But I will increase the update speed in the future. Welcome to subscribe to my channel. I will make more videos to teach how to use the secure camera in an easy way. Almost every day, I receive a lot of messages asking me about how to use the Weed Ready camera. Many problems are pretty much the same. It's easy to get confused without clear instructions. That simple user manual does not have enough details. So this time, I will list the top 5 frequently asked questions about a Weed Ready app. Before starting, I need to clarify that I'm not working for Weed Ready. I've been in the security industry for many years and just happens to be more familiar with these products. So if your cameras really has the product quality problems, I suggest you to contact the seller who sold you the cameras and ask for after sale support. Okay, let's begin. The first one software confusion. There are many versions of V3D app such as V3D, V3DS, V3D Pro, some are V3D modified app. In fact, these apps are not much different. The basic functions and operation methods are the same. They're common in some aspects. It doesn't matter which one you use. You'd better download the app according to your camera user menu. Second question, first time connections. To use the camera for the first time, the most important thing is to connect the camera. If you can't connect to the cameras, you can't control it. The connection method is basically to start the cameras and wait for the access point to be established. Then go to the phone network settings to find an MV and numbers access point signal. Connect to that signal and back to the app. Follow the next step to let the cameras connect to the Wi-Fi network. And after that, the camera is complete the first time set up. If you make any mistake during the process, you can press the reset buttons and do it again. If you want the cameras to connect to a different network in the future, you need to do all of this again. And please avoid the special characters in Wi-Fi name and password when doing the setup. Otherwise, the connections might fail. The third question is offline use. Some people want to install the camera in a place that lack of a stable network or without network, such as basement, garage, or warehouse. They want to know whether the V3D cameras can be used normally when there's no network at all. The answer is yes, you can use it. But many features are not available. Even without a network, you can still connect the camera directly by the access point signal. You can watch the real-time videos and turn on the recording functions, but because the camera's access point signal range is limited, it can be only used in a short range. So when you are far away from the camera, the signal connections will be interrupted and you will be not able to connect to the camera. When you back to the area and reconnect to the access point, you can resume control. The camera will keep recording when offline, but you cannot play back the video remotely. My suggestion is to try your best to let the cameras connect to the network. If the Wi-Fi network signal range cannot be covered, you can consider using a network repeater. The fourth question is remote viewing. Many people had asked me whether it's possible to still watch the camera videos when leaving the home. If your camera is successfully connected to the internet, you can access to your camera through the internet from anywhere, at any time. All data will be transmitted through the network. Even if you are in different cities or country and your phone may connect to a different wireless network, you can still be able to watch the videos remotely. For example, during the vacations I'm thousands of miles away from my house and I can still monitor the home every day. When a bad guy wants to break in, I can receive an alarm message immediately. Some people fail when trying to watch remotely. In this case, if the camera is not damaged or powered off, then usually it belongs to unstable network connections. 
higher definition video transmissions requires more network traffic. Unstable and low speed networks will affect the connections, and you should start troubleshooting from the network side. The fifth question: Multiple device. If you have many V3 D cameras, you can use one app to control them. There's no device limit to the app. No matter if you connect to two, four, ten, or hundred cameras, the app can control all of them. So if you want to install extra V3 D cameras, don't worry about it. If the cameras are a lot, I recommend using the PC CMS software to control them. The same same screen can display more video images. If you want to control and monitor the same cameras on different device, the easy way is to log in to your V3 D account on multiple device. This allows you to control the cameras and play back the videos on different device. But if you just want, the other device can only watch and unable to control the cameras. Then you can set the sharing link in the main account. And send it to other guest accounts. Okay, that's the top five frequently asked questions in my channel. I hope this can help you. More questions, and please subscribe to my channels and leave a comments below. I will try my best to help you. Thank you.